The other were Julie and Eric. Um, we're going to do today. Yeah. And just, like, just to let you know, we are with a group in the museum called the Teacher Institute, where we work with uh, the best teachers in the world. Are, is there any teachers here? Teachers. 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 You warned us. Yeah. Whoa! So we're going to be doing some liquid nitrogen. Um, we're going to cause some explosions and implosions. Can you still hear me? Implosions and explosions using gas. Using science. And hopefully no one will be blinded by science. So remember, safety first. There they are. So our air is almost all nitrogen, 79% nitrogen is just really, 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 really cold air. Uh, nitrogen becomes liquid and you get it minus 200 degrees C. Uh, or about three, 20 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. So when... That way? Okay. It took over. Yeah, did, you, did we bring the ship? Uh, the, uh, the, the plastic for ship? A little tapes and back. Yeah. Um, no, this is fine. So the nice thing about liquid nitrogen being so cold is you can take ordinary things and quickly freeze them. So I have a flower and it's sharing space in this container with a racquetball that Eric just threw in. Um, and now I have this perfectly frozen flower, which... Science! Get in there, get in there. I'm in there, I'm in there, hold on. It That's breaks great. like glass. Like glass. Um, so this was a science class done for many years. Liquid nitrogen has actually found new life um, in the culinary industry because people use it for molecular gastronomy as a quick way to make uh, ice cream or a quick way to freeze things and kind of shatter them and make fancy dishes to eat. Find my spot. Okay, Stay I'm right there. here. But Eric I actually, Miller's not, staying still. This is a first. That's a, yeah, that's not going to happen. Premiere. Okay, here I go. This stuff <laughs> is so cold. How cold is it? Minus 298. <laughs> Minus 198. I'm glad you asked. Can you hear me? Oh. It is so cold that I put a racquetball in there. Okay, here is a racquetball that is not in there. And here is the racquetball that is in there. You guys hear that? Yeah. It is, uh, it doesn't, what, what do you call it, a racquetball? Uh, what about, it doesn't racquetball as much as it did. It doesn't bounce much. Let me show you. Much it doesn't bounce. The official term is bounce. So now we were, what would happen if you took liquid nitrogen instead of mixing it with something at room temperature like the flower of the racquetball, what if you mixed it with something that was incredibly warm or hot? Very, very warm. So I'm going to take a sandstill. Oh no, this one can't be too close. <laughs> So we use a little bit of liquid nitrogen before. Ah, more. More! 
The stuff in here, boiling water, really hot. What do you think is going to happen when I combine them? Well, I don't know that. We'll see. So, I'm going to need a countdown. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. So the bag doesn't get sucked into it. 
And so your hand doesn't get sucked in, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can you wiggle your knees? Okay, let's see what happens if we just take out just 10%, 5 to 10% of the air out of here. You ready? Go. original volume. So like one liter of liquid nitrogen would be seven, 700 liters of air. Um, and then that's only after you get temperature on its way there, even when it's a gas. Oh, I just want to... Uh, takes up a small volume, and as it warms up, it expands. And so the nice thing about these balloons are that they expand. And so as the air expands, you can see them get bigger. But if we trapped this air in a container that didn't expand, pressure would build up. 
Um, so maybe, and did anybody see the explainers, our wonderful explainers out in front doing the pop rockets with the foam cam and alpha seltzer? Let's hear for our explainers. So the alpha seltzer builds up some gas until the pressure exceeds the pressure, uh, the friction of the lid, and it goes pop. If we had a container that we could seal, um, we could put in some liquid nitrogen, let it boil. Do we have anything? And let the pressure build up. Um, I happen to have a one liter soap bottle over here. <laughs> so these things are incredibly strong. Um, and if I could somehow build up enough pressure in here to explode it, um, it would probably go boom. And basically, if we put some liquid nitrogen in here, it's going to boil, and then what's going to happen? Science. Oh, boom. Um, but once it explodes, that's a lot of flying plastic shrapnel. So this is an incredibly dangerous thing to do. But we're going to try it anyway. Um, because we have safety personnel on hand and workers' comp insurance. So I highly recommend that you do not try this at home without those things. Um, plus, we're gonna bury this pressurized bottle in a trash can full of water. So the water is gonna absorb some of that energy and maybe get some of you a little wet if you're sitting on the ground. You might consider that. Um, the shampoo seats. You are in the shampoo seats, absolutely. Uh, it also will make a loud boom. Some of the energy will escape a sound. So you might want to cup your ears if you don't like loud ears. <laughs> sure you have your ears um, Don't put your fingers in your ears. Just cup. Um, so, should we try this? Oh. I don't know. Anyone grab the other one? What's that? Uh, okay. You roll it and then it goes Hold in on. your ears now. That's just right. nothing. <laughs> okay, cup your ears then. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. 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 So we're filling this bottle about a third of the way with liquid nitrogen. The bottle has to cool first. You can see a lot of nitrogen boiling already. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's going to be trapped inside and boil, and Eric and I are going to get out of the way. You guys ready? Yeah! yeah. Here we go. 